In this video we are going to be playing as Peter Parker uh, Spider-Man against Claw on Expert. This is just core cards, core set cards. So in my Spider-Man deck I have the 15 Spider-Man cards, 11 basic cards and 14 Justice cards. And then in his deck he's got his Claw cards, he's got the 3 Expert cards that um, are recommended on the Expert level. And he also has the recommended Masters of Evil side scheme cards in there. So on Expert, <coughs> he's gonna start in his second form. With two scheme, one attack and 18 hit points. When revealed, search the Encounter deck and discard pile for the Immortal Claw. Reveal it, shuffle the Encounter deck. And he's got another ability. When he attacks, he's gonna give. He's gonna get one extra boost card. So the Immortal Claw is a side scheme that has three threat per player, acceler one acceleration token, and it gives him ten hit points until it leaves play. The the main scheme we have underground distribution. So search the encounter deck for the defense network side scheme. Reveal it. Shuffle the encounter deck. Move to one B. And 1B says, when reveal discard cards from the encounter deck until a minion is discarded, put that minion into play, engage with the first player. And he needs 6 threat to complete this, um, this stage of his main scheme. The defense network, so that pulls the, the defense network from the uh, encounter deck, I've already done that. So the defense network is a side scheme with 2 threat plus 1 per player and it has the crisis icon. I cannot remove threat from, from the main scheme. So now we're going to be discarding cards until a minion is discarded and then we're going to put that minion into play against us. Nope. Okay, there it is. It's Weapons Runner. One scheme, one attack, two health. So Peter Parker has 10 hit points and three recovery and Spider-Man and six cards. Starts with six cards in his hand and then we'll check out Spider-Man when we flip. So, six cards, I've got Interrogation Room, Wept Up, um, Haymaker, The Power of Justice, Great Responsibility, and Surveillance Team. So I can discard, because this is the mulligan phase, I can discard any of these cards. So I won't need Haymaker, that's too expensive to do, to do right now. I think I'm okay with getting rid of these four cards. So now I'm gonna draw four more. So I get Strength, I get Web, web Shooter for Justice and Aunt May. Okay, so this is our six cards. Peter is gonna, uh, he's, he's got a Scientist ability. Uh, he can generate one mental resource uh, once per round. So he's gonna do that right now. And we're gonna do that, use that resource to play Web Shooter. This is a, a, an upgrade, enters play with three counters and in hero form I can exhaust it to remove one counter from, uh, from this card and generate one wild resource. I will flip to Spider-Man. So Spider-Man has one thwart, two attack, three defense uh, and his ability is when the villain attacks me I can draw a card. Now we're gonna use one resource, generate one wild resource uh, with web, sh um, web shooter and we're gonna use that resource to play interrogation room. So interrogation room, uh, a support card, max one per player, after you defeat a minion, exhaust interrogation room, remove one threat from a scheme. We also going to use power of justice, this allows us to double the number of resources this card generates for a justice yellow card so this is so we're gonna use this to generate two resources for um for this card for justice and this allows us in hero form uh, we can do a hero action sword remove three threat from a scheme uh, four threat if you paid mental resources for this card well we didn't but it doesn't matter we're gonna remove three resource uh, three threat from um, the Immortal Claw to get rid of it. So the Immortal Claw is now gone and he goes down to 18 health. 
I will probably keep these two cards. Now Spider-Man's gonna attack for two points of damage and get rid of this weapons runner. And then I can, as a response, I can exhaust the interrogation room to remove one threat from a scheme. So I'm gonna remove one threat from defense network. So let's flip back. Now we're gonna draw uh, three more because Spider-Man's hand, Spider hand size is five. So I got Enhanced Spider Sense, Heroic Intuition and another web shooter. His turn starts, he's gonna get one threat on the main scheme. Now he's gonna initiate an attack. So I'm gonna give him two boost cards. Spider Sense is going to trigger so I can draw a card, oops. So I got Swinging Web Kick. So now I have six, six cards in my hand. And I'm gonna say that because I've got Aunt May, I'm not gonna block. So I'm not blocking. So he gets plus one and a star. Put Weapons Runner into play, engage with you. So he attacks me for two. So I go down to eight. And now <clears throat> Weapons Runner is gonna attack me for one, so I go down to seven. Now I'm gonna deal myself one encounter card. It's Claw's Vengeance. When revealed in hero form, Claw attacks you. If this attack deals damage, place one threat in the main scheme. So he's gonna attack me again. I'm not gonna defend, so he's gonna get two boost cards. Oops, number one, plus one, number two, plus one, so he attacks me for three hit points and I go down to four. And this is the end of his turn. Okay, so on my turn, um, things are not looking good already, but Spider-Man Spider is going to attack this uh, weapons runner to get rid of it. And I'm gonna flip interrogation room to remove one threat from Defense Network. I'm gonna generate one resource with Web Shooter to... I think I can play another Web Shooter because it's not unique. So I'm gonna play another Web Shooter and I'm gonna use it immediately to generate one resource. It doesn't say max one per player or anything, no. So I'm gonna generate one resource from this second web shooter and I'm gonna use strength. So that's three in total to play swinging web kick for three. And I'm gonna deal eight damage to Claw. So he's gonna be down to 10 now. Now I'm gonna flip to Peter Parker and he's gonna generate one resource to play Aunt May. So Aunt May is a support card. And if I am in my alter ego form, I can exhaust her and heal 4 damage from Peter Parker, so I go up to 8, back to 8. Now I'm gonna actually get rid of Heroic Intuition, I don't think I need that too much. So now I'm gonna ready all my cards. He's gonna thwart now. So I draw 5 more cards. Helicarrier, that's a good card. Backflip, very good. Nick Fury, that's even better. Um, great responsibility and uh, Mockingbird. Okay, these cards are now good. He gets one threat on the main scheme. Now he's gonna um, he's gonna scheme. So his base value is two plus two, so that's four. At least we get rid of um, shadows of the past. So that allows him to complete his main scheme here. So he goes to 2B, uh, if, sorry, 2A, when revealed, discard cards from the encounter deck until a minion is discarded, put that minion into play, engage with the first player, and then we're going to advance to 2B. So 2B, he, it, it, it's nothing, he just needs 8 um, threats to win the game, and it's still 1 per player every turn. So if he gets to 8 here, he wins the game. Now we're gonna discard until a minion is discarded. Um, 
So that's not a minion. Nope. That's a minion. So Melter. Uh, one scheme, three attack, five health. Um, so Mel Mel Melter is going to scheme for one. And um, the his special ability, the engage player must defend against Melter's attacks with an ally they control if able. Now he's. I'm gonna g give myself one encounter card. It's solid sound body. It's an attachment. So attached to claw, and he gains he gains retaliate one. After he's attacked, he will deal one damage back. Basically, I can spend uh, one energy, mental, and strength resource to discard this card. And now we're back to me. To start with, I'm gonna use Aunt May to heal myself back to full health. So I'm back to 10 health. And now, I'm gonna flip to Spider-Man now. And I'm going to use two resources from these web shooters. So two resources. Um, and I'm gonna use one from Great Responsibility. So I'm gonna play Helicarrier now. And it's a support card. Max one per player. I can exhaust it to choose a, a to reduce the resource cost of the next card I play by one. So I'm gonna use it uh, now, and I'm gonna use backflip and um, enhance spider sense. Use these two cards to play mockingbird. So I'm gonna keep Nick Fury in my hand. So I'm, mockingbird is on the table now. Uh, one thwart, one attack. After she enters play, I can stun an enemy. So he's now stunned. I'm gonna stun Claw, obviously. Um, and Mockingbird's gonna thwart for one to remove one threat, last threat from defense network. So that's gone now. She takes one damage as a result of her action. And then Spider-Man is going to attack. He's going to attack Melter and he's gonna deal two. He's gonna uh, deal two damage to Melter. That was used, by the way. Um, we only have Nick Fury left in in our hand, so I think that's gonna be it. So I'm gonna flip. I'm gonna ready my cards. So we're gonna draw back to five. So we got heroic intuition. Interrogation Room, Avengers Mansion, and Spider Tracker. He gets one threat on the main scheme. He is not going to attack because he's stunned. So no attack there from him. And um, Melter's gonna attack Mockingbird for three. So she dies. And I get one encounter card. Sonic Boom. Either spend one of each resource or exhaust each character you control. Let's see. I'm, go I'm just going to exhaust each character I control, which in this case is just my hero. It's not too bad. Okay, now we're back to me. I'm going to use Heli Carrier and the last resource from this web shooter. So that will allow me to play Nick Fury for two. So I'm gonna use Interrogation Room and for Justice to pay for Nick Fury. So Nick Fury is on the board. He's um, two thwart, two attack, three health ally. And then when he enters play, I can choose one of, uh, one of these things. I can remove two, two threads from a scheme, draw three cards or deal uh, for damage to an enemy. I'll draw three cards. So first aid, swinging, swinging web kick, and daredevil. Oh, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna uh, use first aid and play uh, spider tracker. So this is an attachment. I can attach it to a, mi to a minion. When attached minion. Uh, is defeated I can remove three threads from a scheme so I'm gonna attach it to Melter 
And I'm gonna keep these three cards in my hand. So I'm gonna draw back to five, enhance spider sense and energy. That's pretty good. I'm gonna ready all my cards. Um, also, Nick Fury, I forgot that uh, he attacked Melter for two points of damage. Okay, so he attacks for two points of damage. And yeah, now he's ready. It's one threat on the main scheme, so now he's got three there. And he's gonna attack me. Nick Fury's gonna defend. I draw a card, so as soon as he doesn't have to attack me for me to draw, it's uh, when he initiates an attack against me, I draw a card, and then an ally jumps in front to defend me. So I draw, and I got webbed up. So he's gonna attack Nick Fury, plus one, plus one, so he attacks for three damage in total. So Nick Fury is gone. And now Melter is going to attack me directly. I have no minions to block his attack, so he attacks me for three points of damage. I'm down to seven. And two, three, four, five. And now I get one encounter card, Claw's Vengeance. In hero form, he's gonna attack me. If he deals damage, I need to put one threat on the main scheme. I forgot um, to do that last time, I think, but it wouldn't have mattered because he he progressed his scheme later on, I think, so that's fine. Um, okay, he's he's not. I'm not gonna block, so I'm just gonna put it there because it will deal damage. So I take nothing, and not wow, what, just one, just one. That was so lucky. So I'm down to six, and it's my turn again. Okay, this is gonna be pretty good. I'm gonna use Helicarrier and I'm gonna use I'm gonna use two I'm gonna generate two resources from energy and one resource from enhanced spider sense. So that's four in total. So three and one from Helicarrier four. And I'm gonna play Daredevil. It's an ally, two sword, two attack, three health. When, uh, after he thwarts, I can do one damage to an enemy. So he's gonna thwart, and he's gonna remove two threads from the main scheme. And he's gonna do one damage to Melter. So Melter is now gone. And then as soon as that happens, uh, Spider Tracker triggers, and I can remove three threads from the scheme. So now there's no threat on the main scheme anymore. So I'm gonna flip to Peter Parker, but I won't be able to do anything. I'm just gonna use Aunt May to heal myself to back to 10 hit points. This is gonna be the end of my turn. I think there was a better way to play this turn, but it doesn't matter anymore. So draw up to six, sur surveillance team, backflip and uh, swing web kick. He's got one, gets one threat on the main scheme. He schemes for four. So he's got five in total. Only three away from winning the game. That's pretty bad. And now we will get one encounter card. It's Tiger Shark. One scheme, three attacks, six health. After he attacks, he gets a tough status card. Okay, back to me. So I'm gonna use Helicarrier with Peter's resource and surveillance team and webbed up to generate four resources in total. And I'm gonna play Avengers Mansion. It's a support card. Um, I can max one per player. I can exhaust it to draw one card. So I'm gonna exhaust it now, draw one card. It's Jessica Jones. Oh, wish I saw you earlier because you're not that good right now. I could spend these three and play Jessica Jones. I think that's okay. So I'm gonna spend these three resources and play Jessica Jones. Also, Daredevil has one damage because he he thwarted. Um, okay, he's gonna thwart for two. So 
this goes down to three and he takes one damage and he deals um, actually I think I misplayed here he's not gonna thwart, he's just gonna attack him so he's not thwarting, he just, he's just attacking uh, him for two and then Jessica Jones is gonna attack and Spider-Man is also gonna attack so that's six points of damage in total so he's gone uh, Jessica takes one point of damage and now I'm gonna flip interrogation room and just remove one thread from here so we're down to four that's gonna be the end of my turn so I've got Jessica Jones and Daredevil so five cards the power of justice for justice tenacity spider tracker and black cut I've got two cards left in my deck okay on his turn he gets one thread on the main scheme now he's gonna attack I'm just gonna take it I think it's fine okay I'm, I'm, I'm taking it so plus two whoops and plus three oh so six damage in total when he attacked oops spider-man's ability triggered so I draw a card and six damage so I go down to four Ugh, not great and now I get one encounter card sonic boom either spend one of each resource or exhaust each character you control uh, okay we're gonna spend resource so one here wait we can't do that because we don't have strength resource so I have to exhaust every character they control uh, okay this is painful All right, now we're gonna use the power of justice with for justice to remove three threads from us from a scheme so we're gonna remove three threads from the main scheme so goes down to two I kinda wanna flip but if I flip he's probably gonna win the game so there is that I'm gonna um, what do I wanna do now I kinda wanna play black cut Okay, I'm gonna use Avengers Mansion to draw this last card, it's genius. So now, because I'm out of my deck, I'm gonna get one extra encounter card next time. And I have to shuffle my deck. Well, now I'm gonna use Helicarrier with genius and I'm gonna play black cat two uh, one thwart one attack two health uh, where after you play black cat I can discard top two cards of my deck each card with mental resource is added to my hand so that's mental resource uh, enhanced spider sense and that's not mental resource that's discarded I think it should be okay if I flip He's gonna attack. No, I don't need. I don't need to flip. Actually, I'm just gonna ready all my cards. Uh, I don't need to flip. He. Yeah, I don't think I need to flip. So, I'm gonna get rid of emergency, and I'm gonna get rid of tenacity, and I'm gonna get rid of. I'm gonna keep spider tracker uh, but I'm gonna get rid of these two cards draw back to five so haymaker great responsibility and surveillance team he's gonna get one threat on the main scheme and he will attack which means I'll draw a card that's swing web kick and now he's gonna attack Daredevil's gonna jump in there and tank that attack for me so it's plus two and nothing 
is gone. Hmm. Okay, now I'm gonna get the two encounter cards. So first one was this one here. It's whirlwind. One scheme to attack six health minion. When he attacks, I also resolve his attack against each other hero and then Second one, Master Plan. When revealed, place four threats on each side scheme. If there are no side scheme in play, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a side scheme is discarded. Reveal that side scheme. Okay, so we will do that. Uh, I don't think I'm not too afraid of a side scheme. I don't think it's gonna be a big problem. Okay, that's a side scheme. All right, that was quick. Illegal Arms Factory, when revealed, place an additional one threat per player here, so it's four threat in total. Um, four in total, and it has... If it's in play, I will be getting one extra encounter card every round if I don't remove it, okay. I'm gonna use Avenger Mansions, Avengers Mansion to draw a card, it's first aid. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna attach, I'm gonna use Helicarrier to generate one resource, attach this Spider Trucker to Whirlwind. Okay, I'm gonna use Great Responsibility and First Aid to generate two resources, play Haymaker, I can deal three damage to an enemy, so I'm gonna deal three damage to Whirlwind. And then I'm gonna say Black Cat is gonna do one damage to him, and Spider Man is also gonna do one damage to him. So it's uh, two damage, sorry, for so two and three and three from Haymaker. So Whirlwind's gone, and that triggers um, Spider Tracker, and that will also trigger Interrogation Room. So I can remove four threads from here in total. So that's gone. He is gone. Um, she takes no consequential damage because she's got no mark there. <clears throat> and now I've got three cards. I think Jessica Jones gonna thwart for one. Remove one here. We're just gonna ready everybody. Just gonna ready everybody. Also, she took one damage. And I think what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna discard this surveillance team, I don't want it. So back to five, energy, backflip, and spider uh, web shooter. Okay, that's pretty good. Back, back, backflip is good. So he gets one thread in the main scheme on his turn. He's gonna attack me. I think I'm gonna use backflip here, so I'm not gonna defend. So backflip is a card, it's an interrupt, cost zero. When I would take any amount of damage from an attack, I can prevent all that damage. It's pretty good. So he attacks, I get a card. It's a spider tracker. And now he gets his two boost cards. So he gets, um, he gets one, nothing, and he gets two plus two, so it's three damage in total. Okay, I'm gonna use backflip to prevent the damage, like it never happened. And now I'm gonna get one encounter card. It's under fire, surge, when revealed the top card, uh, reveal the top card, and so it's basically double surge is what it is. So one, it's radical radioactive man, after Radioactive Man attacks, you discard one card at random from your hand. One scheme, one attack, and seven health. Now, I'm not sure if at this point... Um, I'm not sure if it, should, if it fizzles, because he ran out of deck. Uh, that means he also he gets one acceleration token on the main scheme. I think at this point he wouldn't get the second um, card from the encounter deck, but I'm still gonna give it to him, because why not? So let's see, he gets another, I get another encounter card, Assault. 
hero. He attacks me. Okay, so he's gonna attack me again. That means I draw a card. Smoking Bird. Jessica Jones gonna defend. So he gets two boost cards. Uh, nothing. And we also get this guy. So Jessica Jones is gone. And he gets uh, this weapons runner. So Avengers Mansion to draw a card. Okay, it's kind of okay. It's kind of good. Now we need to get rid of this guy so I can deal eight damage to him. So we're gonna start with that actually. So I'm gonna use Heli Carrier with uh, energy. So three. Um, actually, I'm gonna use Heli Carrier first to play Web Shooter. And then I'm gonna use one resource from web shooter. We're gonna do it in like that. So one resource from web shooter and two resources from um, energy to play swinging web kick for eight damage. So radioactive man is gone. Spider Man is going to attack this guy. An interrogation room is going to trigger and remove one thread from the main scheme. And I kind of want I want to remove this, but I can't. I can't sacrifice Mockingbird. Mockingbird's too important. I'm gonna play Mockingbird using these three cards. So she will. She enters play, and we can stun him. So he's stunned. Um, now we're gonna ready, ready, this is such a long game, it's crazy, okay, and we're gonna draw five cards, surveillance team, heroic intuition, webbed up, the power of justice, and for justice, so now it's his turn, he's stunned so he's not gonna attack. He gets one threat on the main scheme. And I get one encounter card, it's armored guard, it's a minion, zero scheme, one attack, three health. It has a guard keyword, so that means as long as he's in play I can't attack, attack um, claw and it enters with tough status card. Next time this character would take any amount of damage, this card is stay this card in instead. I'm gonna use Avengers Mansion, draw a card. Uh, Mockingbird, Black Cat is gonna, t sorry, uh, yeah, Black Cat is gonna attack, remove this tough status card from him. That's gone. Okay, we're gonna use um, Webbed Up and for justice and a surveillance team, so that's one of each resources to remove this card from play, this upgrade. And now we need to deal three damage, so um, Spider-Man and Mockingbird are gonna get attacked together to get rid of this guy. And that means that this will trigger. Come on, this triggers, and I can remove one threat here. And we're gonna what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use Power of Justice to play Heroic Intuition. It's an upgrade. This is this is this is me. So Heroic Intuition is a is an upgrade that allows me to. It gives Spider-Man plus one sword. Um. Yeah, so that's what it does. I've got so many of these cards in play now. It's crazy. So Mockingbird took one damage there. I'm left with Swinging Web Kick in my hand. And I'm gonna draw up to five cards now. Heroic Intuition, Web Shooter, Strength, and Great Responsibility.
Okay. So on his turn, he now gets two threats on the main scheme, so he's up to four there. Now he's gonna attack, so I'm gonna say Black Cat is gonna defend. I draw a card when he initiates his attack. It's enhanced webs is enhanced spider sense. So he attacks for plus one, plus two, so three, four damage in total. Black Cat is gone. And now I'm gonna get one encounter card. It's Shadows of the Past. I'm gonna um, use Enhanced Spider Sense. I'm gonna use Great Responsibility to pay for Enhanced Spider Sense. Uh, when a treachery card is revealed from the encounter deck, cancel its when revealed effect. So I'm gonna reveal, uh, I'm gonna cancel its Shadows of the Past because that would bring our uh, Nemesis into play. We don't want that. So that's good. that got cancelled. So back to me now. I'm gonna use Avengers Mansion to draw a card. It's Nick Fury. This is looking good now. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use um, Helicarrier and one resource from here. And two resources from Strength to play Nick Fury. And we're gonna draw three cards. So it's backflip, uh, the power of justice, and another swinging web kick. Okay, this is probably a win now. This is looking really, really good. Okay, this is looking great actually. So now, um, all right, we're gonna say that Spider Man is going to attack him for two points of damage. So he's down to eight. I'm gonna use swinging web kick. I need, I'm gonna be. Is heroic intuition um, this web shooter? This web shooter, heroic intuition, and the power of justice. Actually, I'm gonna use these three cards to play uh, pay for swing web kick to deal eight damage. This form, he's got uh, three uh, scheme to attack, um, 21 hit points. He enters the play with tough status card. And he still has that one additional boost card ability. So 21 health for him now. And tough status card. And I'm left with swinging web kick and backflip. So now Mockingbird is gonna attack him for one. Take one, he's just gonna take one damage to remove this tough status card. And then Nick Fury is going to Ward for two to remove one threat from here. He's gonna take damage as well, but he's gonna block soon, so it doesn't matter. Now, this is gonna be the end of my turn, I believe. So we now have 21 hit points to go through, but we've got all the cards that we want on the board. So, we now are going to draw cards to five. Oh, good for justice, we're um, out of deck, so one extra encounter card. Okay, so two, then we get genius and another swinging web kick. Oh, this is what we want to see. It's his turn, he gets two threads in the main scheme, so he's, he gets four there. He's gonna attack, Nick Fury is gonna defend. One, two, three. I'm gonna draw a card. It's webbed up. Okay, let's play these two encounter cards are nothing too bad. So he gets plus two and plus two. So he attacks for six. Nick Fury, Nick Fury is gone. And now we get two encounter cards. So the first one, sound manipulation. When revealed, um, take two damage, claw heals two damage. Okay, uh, pretty bad. We're down to two health. Okay, one, two, six. Okay, I can't use backflip um, to prevent that because that's not an attack. And the second one, close vengeance. When reveal hero, claw attacks you. If this attack deals damage, okay, he's gonna attack me again. So that means I draw a card. Okay, I'm gonna say I'm not gonna block that uh, because I'm just gonna use backflip, so no blocking. 
nothing and plus two so he attacks me for um, four but I use backflip so I take no damage and we're back to me I've got two health I'm gonna use Avengers Mansion to draw a card it's enhanced spider sense okay now we're gonna do I'm gonna use Helicarrier and last resource from this web uh, shooter and we're gonna use this interrogation room so that's three in total we're gonna use swinging web kick and he is down to 13 hit points that's eight damage I think I need to play this yeah, I think I need to play this card. I can't allow him to attack. So I'm going to use Enhanced Spider Sense Genius and for Justice to play Wept Up. Wept Up, uh, hero form only attached to an enemy, max one per enemy. When he would attack, I discard this again and then he's stunned. Uh, also, when I defeated him, I could have flipped interrogation room to remove one threat from a scheme. I don't think I've done that, but that's fine. Okay, we draw back to five. So, Spider Tracker, The Power of Justice, Emergency, and Black Cut. He gets two threat on the main scheme. So, back to four. Now, he would attack me, but... Instead, web webbed up is gonna get discarded, and he's stunned. And now um, I get one encounter card. It's whirlwind, six health, one scheme to attack. Now I'm gonna use Avengers Mansion to draw a card. We are very close now. We've got eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think this is it. No, we've got 12 damage. We're one short. Are you kidding me? You're gonna play Black Cat using Helicarrier and Emergency. And then we can add this to our hand. And we can not this. Okay, so Black Cat is on the board. I'm gonna use Great Responsibility and Tenacity and the power of justice no and the power of justice to play swinging web key for eight um, hit, uh, I'm gonna hit him for eight so he's down to five and spider-man is going to attack him so he's down to three and Black Cat is going to attack him. He's down to two health. So Black Cat takes one point of damage. So you're exhausted, you're exhausted. You're not gonna attack. I don't think you will attack. Because you'll be blocking Whirlwind next turn. Okay, this is the end of my turn. Oh, this is, this could go really bad. But for justice. Web shooter, swingy web kick, and energy. Okay, on his turn, he gets two threat in the main scheme. So he's um, at six now. Now he would attack, but he's stunned, so he's not gonna attack. And now Whirlwind's gonna attack. I'm gonna use Mockingbird to, to defend. So she dies, he attacks for two, he's got an ability when uh, he attacks me, he I also resolve his attack against each other hero, but there is no other heroes, so uh, it doesn't. I don't think it does anything. I get one encounter card, Court of Guard, when you discard an upgrade or support you control, if no cards were discarded this way, is, oh, okay, that doesn't matter, I can discard um, Aunt May, thank you for serving me. Okay, back to us, well, this is it, I can just... Attack him for two damage, um, and with that he goes to zero hit points, and we win the game. So this was Claw on Expert. Thanks for watching.